So hey guys, today we are going to show this example how to calculate this statically indeterminate trust. So as shown at this, step 1 you need to calculate either it is statically determinate or indeterminate and then it is externally indeterminate or internally indeterminate. So first we calculate the mo uh, the members. So we can see that this is 30 members. Reaction is 4 where A you have 2, G you have 1, E you have 1. Okay, join you have 8. So M equal to 2J minus R. So 13 equal to 2 times 8 minus 3. So you get 13 equal to 13. But the reaction for now is 4. 4 is greater than 3. So this is statically indeterminate. Because you have 4 reaction for, so you cannot solve as usual. So what we have to do is, okay, so this is step 2. You can see that we break it to real force. We remove where we remove the support G and then we replace with 1 kN of virtual force. Okay? So first step, we break it to this. Then we need to calculate the support reaction for A and also E. So by using this calculation, total MA equal to 0. Okay, then we will get total VE equal to 60. And then we will get VA equal to 40 from total FY equal to 0. Okay, so after you get this, then you can start to calculate the step 3 where we calculate all the internal force for all members okay so for all members you need to substitute the support reaction force the 40 and then the 60 kN the force applied on the structure which is 30 30 and 40 okay after you put all these value inside it so you can start to calculate all the internal forces so I already mark here 1 2 3 4 5 sorry 5 6 7 8 okay this x step is the step that i calculate the internal forces by using alternative joint methods so we can calculate this as usual that from previous sections then you can get all these values okay so after that you finish this then we need to calculate this again Okay, we need to calculate the support reaction force due to the virtual forces. So from this, okay, we will get the VE and VA by using the total MA equal to 0 and total FY equal to 0. So you can get VA is 0 0.5 kN and VE is 0 0.5 kN. And also after that, then you need to calculate again all the internal forces U for all members due to the virtual forces at G. So you can see that now we put the reaction force 0 0.5 kN at A, 0 0.5 kN at E, okay, and then G is 1 kN going downward at here. So from these three forces, and then we will start to calculate all the internal forces. Also at here, I already marked the step where this is step 1, step 2, step 3, step 4, step 5, step 6, step 7, and step 8 for you to calculate all the internal forces. And the calculation will be same as the previous chapter that we learned before. So I believe you all can do this. Okay. So after that, then we will create this table. And we are using this formula to find the new internal forces for all members. Okay. You input the value of length, the A, L over A. And then the F from the first calculation of the internal forces. Okay. So from this calculation of this okay so you will input the value from this into this table and then you will input the value from this due to the virtual force into this table of mu okay so this u and f is from the calculation and then you will make this f u l over a and then u power of 2 l over a and then you will calculate all of this and then you will total up the total of this and this Okay, so you will get the reaction force at G, RG, by using this equation. Okay, you can see this equation is negative total of F prime U L A E over A E, sorry, over U power of 2 L over A E. So after you calculate this, you will get equal to F RG equal to negative 56 kilonewton. So what you have to do it now is you need to get this one, F prime equal to f equal to f prime plus rg times u so rg times u actually is this 56 kilonewton times this u value okay so this is equal to 56 times 0 0.625 you get 
35 but remember don't forget this negative okay so you input this negative value so you get negative 35 negative 35 negative 35 negative 35 and this is negative negative so this is positive so positive 70 positive 70 positive 44.80 and then negative 0 negative 44.8 0 negative 44.8 and 0 so this f value equal to this f plus this u so for example this one 50 minus 35 you get 15 50 minus 35 you get 15 and all of this you will calculate you will get all this value so after this completed then we can go to step 7 step 7 is you input all this value of f into this all internal forces for all the members and then we need to calculate the new reaction force due to this rg now you can see that the rg value 56 is going upward 56 kilonewton where we obtain from the calculation just now from here okay so this is 56 going upward so you input into this you calculate the reaction force for ra and rb due to the 30 kilonewton 30 kilonewton 40 kilonewton and this rg force so you calculate this 40 times 90 okay minus 56 times 60 plus 30 times 30 plus 30 times 90 minus ve times 120 then you will get ve equal to 32 kilonewton so total fy equal to zero then you get va equal to 12 kilonewton so you input all the value into this then you uh, complete this calculation Okay, see you guys again. So hope you enjoyed this video and good luck for all of you. Bye-bye.